I've been going through some of our demand files and it comes for concern. We may have underestimated fraud and exploitation. If care is not taken, we will lose everything. And you know what that means, right? So we'll be having a report from across the world. Shading? What's that? Thank you, my There are billions of humans all over the world, and we still manage to keep the majority in sync. 50% of human reproduction is as a result of teenage pregnancy, fornication, and adultery. I think that would make us responsible yeah. for a high population. Hey, Shalim, Shalim, your report is saying that we have too many parents, right? That's wow. This means we've created a problem that we need to fix. All over the world, the murder and suicide rates have increased. Homosexuality is taking all over the churches. And I think that would show on the record a massive decline in the human food production. Okay. Um, Jeline, please don't be carried away by this figures. You see, for every human who dies, who will get converted into a contrary lifestyle. Hundred more are born. Glory. We need to do more. Yes, my God. If I knew, adolescent spends 1,500 hours watching television and 900 in school annually. By the time a child finishes elementary, he would have spent 10,000 dollars, and that's because we double by the end of high school. And by the time a human reaches 14 years, he would have spent 10 years watching television. Mm. Wow. Impressive. Go on. That's all for now. Thank you. Bokalo. You may go to me. Yes, my lord. We have been targeting Christians and have destroyed the desire of God's words and prayers in their hearts. Many do not fast mm. or even preach the gospel to those who are perishing. My lord. We have modified the effect of churches in the community today. The report of people getting saved has been reduced by 69%. And I think we're doing a good job. Well, Fukalo, for now, allow me to judge that. Do you sleep? Yes. Then we can do more. No demon in this room is supposed to sleep or eat. We don't have time to relax. There is no time. God is soon going to come. And it is our duty to make sure humans perish. Okay? Go on. My Lord, the leaders of the church are revising their teachings. And as a result, they encourage the members to go and meditate on the world when they get back home. But one thing they don't know is that less than half an hour is spent on the world weekly, which is just 26 hours and 365 days. My Lord, Christians have lost the desire to read the very words of God, which, which teaches on how to live here on earth. My Lord, the result is that they mix the sacred with the prophet, surrounding all hope of them making it to heaven. Wow. That's impressive. You know what? There is something I would want us to consider. I want us to consider what we are up against. It's not God's will for any human to perish. He will do anything, I mean anything, no limitation to what He can do to save humans. It is our duty to make sure that every human perish. Am I making myself clear? Yes. Very good. You may continue. Thank you, my Lord.
That's all for now. Very good. Thank you. You may sit down. Bakula. Let me see you. Will we have a report on the war global recession session? My lord, we are thinking of a global recession. Making the cost of living so high that very few of the humans will be able to afford it unless by this honest means. The need for money will be so great and job opportunities so limited that crimes and violence will escalate to alarming levels in many countries. Guns will fall off the market like chewing gums. The persons will be overwhelmed. The graves will expand like hell itself. I think that's good, but that should just take care of our 15% of the population, right? Yes, ma'am. That's good. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You may sit down. Um, let's have our report on sexual immorality from Val. Thank you, my lord. Worldwide pornography We will introduce this at all levels Through billboards and newspapers We make pornography an occupation A career I will make pornography freely accessible to everyone It will become a way of life for many a secret door to pleasure. My lord, nudity is marketable. It is the desire of 80% of people. We we'll start from a mild, showing a star girl in the newspaper wearing nothing on top. Then, as the desires increase, we will introduce more until man's appetite for sex cannot be satisfied we just having one pattern. Adultery and fornication will become an acceptable way of life. Even in church, the scent of sin will go up into God's nostrils. The atmosphere will be utterly polluted with what he hates. Humans will think of nothing but sex. Wow, that's, that's very beautiful. But don't you think this will add more to our problems? No, my lord. Not if there is a way for humans to protect themselves from pregnancy and diseases while having sexual activity. Are you thinking of birth control? Yes, my lord. Protection for both male and female. My lord. We will have our products on every shelf. We will stand out on their own. We will advertise them in such a way that Christians will be convinced. My Lord, once this is established, child production will decrease. Fantastic, great number. I love this. And sexual activities rise up. Exactly. I love that. Great number. What else do we have for you? My lord, there is something we've noticed about humans these days. They seem to place great emphasis on self, forgetting that self denial is a prerequisite to self centered life. This word self, my lord, seems to have taken top priority in their life. My lord, we think. If you can apply good and great pressure on this area, spice up this world a little bit, make material things very attractive to the human eyes. This will increase their desire for gain and decrease their passion for God, my Lord. Men shall be lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Human beings have own ways desire instant pressure above spiritual gain. My Lord, these humans spend more time on themselves rather than 
on things concerning God. Thank you, my Lord. That all these are outer attacks. It is their minds that we are after. And this is their end. I will tell you about our inevitable victory. Within the confine of this world, there exists a secret chamber. Within those chambers are thousands of demons that have been going through an intensive training. They have read the human manuscripts hundred times and have committed it to memory. I refer to them as New Age Leaders. My Lord, if I and my fellow demons here in the room, how effective are these seducers? Yes, Vijay. They are so effective and convincing. They can convince a man to become a woman. They can convince a man to kill himself. They can convince a man into having a sexual relation with an animal. Hmm. Then that should turn the summer for hell. Precisely. Men will turn on each other. Group against group, politicians against politicians, families against families, and church against church. And you think these seducers can accomplish this? Without a doubt. Once each group is divided, <laughs> it is unable for them to be anything. But my lord, there will be some who will be listening to the words of God. Yes, a minority at first. You see, human. No longer see the need to protect their minds. Thanks to our influence on social media, humans spend much time in watching our programs on the television and listening to our music. And that's a big advantage to us. On top of that, reduced to godlessness. I want to watch the hungry die of starvation. The orphans and the widows and those in prison go unvisited. I want you to watch as his precious creatures choose to forgive and live an adulterous life. I want him to watch a 12 year old girl giving birth to a child. I want him to watch as his precious creators spend much time watching our programs on television and listening to our music and spending much time on Facebook and Twitter. I want him to watch as his children turn their back on him just because of the pleasures of this world. I want him to resist his own temptation to destroy this world again. Our victory is inevitable. Humans have proven time and time again that they are beyond redemption. We need to destroy them. My Lord, I am convinced that we can still win the war. Yes, my Buddha. Arm yourself, demon. We do not have time to relent. 
because he's soon going to come. Call them by names. Call their destinies by number. Destroy them. <laughs>